Hey guys, it's Olympus the Loomer here. In today's video, I will be showing you guys how to make this Lumi Gurumi reindeer. This is my original design, but I am giving full credit to um, Ginger Cell because I used her technique for the legs. Um, I will put up a link in her Instagram and YouTube down below. You guys should definitely, definitely go follow her. She is super kind, she is awesome, and she is super talented as well. And Ginger, if you're watching this, I want to thank you a lot. Like, I just want to thank you so, so much, because even though I used um, the technique for the legs that you do, you still let me do the, t let me film the tutorial for this. But yeah, this is what we are going to make today, and without further ado, let's get started. So, to make this reindeer here, you are going to need a hook, a stitch marker. You're also going to need some bands. So, for the bands today, I'll be using four colors. Burgundy, red, white, and black. So, for the burgundy here, I will be using that for the color for the reindeer. This red here is going to be for the nose. This white here is going to be for the horns and the tail. And this black band here, I'm going to use that for the legs because reindeers have black um, tip of the leg. And in this one, I made it white. But I still think it looks cute. And you are also going to need a few stuffing just to stuff his head. And... Lastly, you are going to need some safety eyes, beads, or bands for the eyes. This here, I think, is an 8mm safety eyes, and that's what I'm going to use today. So, these are the materials that you are going to need, and without further ado, let's get started. So, the first thing that we are going to make are the horns. I'm just going to show you guys how it's made real quick. So, grab your white bands. And this is the horns, and I have this small hook to put on the parts, um, especially the tail, the horns, and the ears. So you guys would want to get a hook, an extra hook for the parts. But let's start making the horns. Horns. So first, grab a band and wrap it once on your hook. Like that. And grab both loops and wrap it again. So grab all the two loops and wrap it onto your hook again. Like that. Grab another white band, wrap it once in your hook. Grab both loops and we are gonna slide this cap band on our hook to this band over here. So just slide that on. Then reclaim the other end. And we're going to do that one more time. One band on our hook. Wrap once. Grab both loops. Wrap again. Like that. And grab a single band. Wrap once. Grab both loops. And slide this um, cap band onto that band. And reclaim. So this is what you should have so far. So this is what you should have so far. And we are going to connect these two together with a single band. So grab a white band, wrap it onto your hook once, like that. Grab both loops, and we are going to slide these um, two things onto our um, the band. So wrap, um, I mean, put it one at a time, like that, and reclaim the other end. And if you are hearing any background noises, guys, I really do apologize for that. I don't have time to cut it since it's getting dark. And we are going to do that one more time. So grab a white band, wrap it once to your hook, grab both loops, and slide this one onto your hook to this band. Like that. And we have something that looks like this. You can kind of fix it and then you are gonna grab your brown color 
or the color for the body and we're just gonna slide this one to that band and we can now put this to our um, helping hook so now we have a horn and you can pause the video to make another horn because a reindeer has two horns now let's do the um, ears so grab your brown bands so I have brown bands here and I have made one already and you're gonna pause the video again to make yourself another one but this step is really simple so yeah um, grab your hook and your band wrap your, your band onto your hook once like that and grab both loops and wrap it again on your hook now grab a single band wrap it onto your hook grab both loops and we're just simply gonna slide this cap band onto that band and that's how you make the ear like that and then last step is just grab a single band and pull it through everything that's on your hook like that get your helping hook and put it in there for the attaching later like that and now we are going to do the tail it's up to you if you want to add a white band to the tip of the tail i'm gonna do that again so i have my one white band here and um we're just going to wrap this once on our hook like that and grab both loops and wrap it again and then grab a brown band wrap it onto your hook once grab both loops oops grab both loops and slide this white band over the brown band like that we're gonna do that one more time so brown band wrap once onto your hook both loops grab and slide this band on your hook to that band and that's how you make the tail then just grab a single band and slide everything onto that and that's how you make the tail i hope that was not fast but you are now going to put this onto your helping hook for the attaching later and um, for now we've made um the horns the ears and our tail now let's start with our head so yeah let's start with the head so to start our head we are going to need red bands so i have four here so you're only gonna need four red okay and then i'm just gonna grab a little bit brown over there now our first row is a magic ring of three stitches using our red color so grab your red color put it onto your hook and wrap twice to make three loops so that's one and two now you have three loops on your hook so now you have three um, loops on your hook and that's our cap band grab another red band and we're gonna slide this cap band onto that red band like that reclaim the other end focus it's getting dark oh my gosh i have to make it quick like that and we're just going to put this right band over this left one here like that so that's a slip knot we need to go back into our cap band so go back to the cap band like that so this is what you should have so far the cap band three loop cap band and um, this one from our first stitch now get another red band and we're just going to pull this through this cap band here the three loop cap band like that now you have three loops we want to put these two right ones over this one on the left 
like that. And go back in for our last red stitch. Last stitch of our first row. And do the same thing. Sorry guys for the background noises. Really do apologize. Now you can grab your hook. And put it, I mean, your C-clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. So that's our first row. The second row is going to be an increase around. So we are going to put two stitches in each of these stitches. So two, two, and two. So just go to your first stitch. Right here. Grab a brown band. Slide it through everything since we are changing color. And stitch. Um, this one is a tight one here. Just make sure that you are going through the, the um, right loops. You want to go back to your first stitch again. And do another stitch. So that's an increase in one stitch. We want to go to our next stitch like that and put two brown bands again because we are doing an increase all the way around that's one go back in for your increase and this can be so hard because it's tight so and just hope you are doing fine but we are still increasing now on to our third stitch like that, and still doing an increase. Increase. Put this, um, remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Like that. Third row is going to be stitch and an increase. So let's do that. So go to your first stitch and do a single, single. Our next stitch is going to be an increase. So go to your second stitch and do an increase. Third is a single. Fourth is an increase. Fifth is a single. And our sixth stitch is going to be an increase. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Next row is just going to be a single row around. So we are adding one stitch all the way around and no increases or whatever. So just go to your first stitch and do a single. We are going to do that until we reach our band with a C clip on. That's one. Two. Three. I'm really sorry guys for the background noises. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. Our next row is going to be a single, single, and an increase. So, single, single, increase, single, single, increase, single, single, increase. And we're gonna have 12 stitches after this. So, two singles and an increase. Single. Single. Increase. single 
single increase and single single increase. I hope you're still seeing what I'm doing. I'm not looking through the camera, I'm looking to my hand. Okay, remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Our next probe is a single row around, so one stitch in all of them. So, let's go. So this is one. This is number two. Number three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And. Twelve. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. And now we are going to start doing our decreases. So we are going to do stitch and a decrease around. And if you're hearing some band thing, guys, sorry for that. But we are going to do a single and a decrease around. So that's how small his head is. So single, decrease. So front loop of the first one back loop of the next one combine together and decrease and single again front loop of the first one back loop of the second one and stitch all the way around so single decrease Single and decrease. Oops. Um, decrease. Remove your stitch marker. Put it to the band that's on your hook. Now, since we are closing it up, we want to grab our worst stopping. We don't want a lot, we only need a few. So I'm just going to put this in through that hole. I just want to stuff it a little bit so that um, the head has some shape into it. So that's enough stuffing. So that's only a few. And now what we are going to do is decrease around until it's close. So decrease around till it's closed. So I'm just doing decreases over here. So decrease. And once you reach the end decrease, you're just going to remove the stitch marker. And Grab a band and pull it through everything and just slip knot like tight. And we're gonna hide the slip knot into the head. So just hide it inside. And now after this we are going to put the eyes on and the physical features. So that's our head. So now we are going to put the facial features. So you want, okay, this is how we are going to attach the eyes. First, you have this three um, stitches from the red band. You want um, two facing up and one facing down. Then just grab your eyes and put it where you want it to be. 
So I just tuck my safety eyes in. And next. Uh, yeah, you can find a spot where you want the eyes. I'm just gonna fix this. So um, I have it now like the eyes and I'm just gonna show you guys how to attach the ears and the horns real quick then after this it's going to be another day like there will be no more shadows I don't like this thing I don't like the darkness it's because I started late because my phone charged uh, it got you know it's some time some time to charge but just grab your horns and we want to pick a spot in the head to where we want to attach it so here i think this one looks okay if i attach it here grab your horns and slip knot it Slip knot it like that, and we are going to put this um, slip knot inside the head. Like that now we have one um, horn done. We are going to do the same thing to the other side. So just pick spots. Again, find a spot in your head, grab your horn, and pick one loop into your hook, and slide it, and pick the other end, and just form a slip knot. A slip knot, and you can kind of fix it, and you're just going to put this inside. And sorry for the background noises, guys. But yeah, we have the horns now, and you can kind of fix it however you like it to look. Now, once you like the look of it, we are now going to attach our ears. So, how to attach it is that... So, we have the horn here, and we are going to the next stitch, like that. We're going through that stitch. So, the next stitch from the horn. Grab one ear. And we're just going to do the same thing. We're gonna attach it by a slip, slip knot thing. So, slip knot. And put this tail on to the head. And do the same thing to the other side. So, next stitch um, from the horn. So, that's this one. I'm sorry guys if you hear background noises. That's my sister laughing. Like, shut up. <laughs> but yeah, grab the, the other um, ear and just slip knot it like that. And once it's attached, you're just going to put this tail somewhere in the head. So you're gonna hide it in there. So that's how you do the head. And. Um, you can kind of fix the face however you like but that's yeah. how you make the head and i will see you guys in day two hey guys so it's finally day two i just woke up and i'm going to continue from where we left off so we already made the head over here make sure your head is done the um ears and the horns are perf perfectly um placed now we are going to continue doing his body so uh, grab your brown bands because we are gonna start with brown and i think i sound like i just woke up so excuse my voice and um during the first parts as well i really do apologize for the background noises i mean i can't um force people to stop doing noises because you know it comes unexpectedly but yeah let's just get started doing the body 
So the first row is, I mean round, is a magic ring of six. So grab your hook, wrap a band two times, so that's one, two, or three times, however you like to call it. Just make sure that it has three loops on your hook. And we are going to put through six bands in this cap band one at a time. So. That's one. Go back into your cap band. Two. Four, five, and six. And I'm filming this early in the morning so that um, less people can only be in the background. So that means less background noises too. Um, once you have six stitches, you want to count it. It's one, two, three, four, five, and six is the one that's on your hook. You're just going to put your C-clip to the band that's on your hook. So our second row is going to be an increase. So we are going to put through two bands one at a time in each of these stitches. And we are going to end up with 12. So just go to your first stitch and do a single. Go back into that first stitch and do one more. So that's an increase. You cut, go to your second stitch, one stitch, go back into the same stitch, and stitch, and that's our increase. And we are going to do that until we reach the band with the C clip on. So increase. And I should say, this is a pretty easy design. The only confusing way, I mean, confusing part of this design is doing the legs. But I'm gonna try my best to explain that well so you guys can um, understand what I'm making and so that you can make yours too without any mistake. So I made all of my increases, I'm just going to remove my C-clip and put it to the band that's in my hook. The next round is going to be single and increase, so single here, increase, single, increase, all the way around. So I'm just going to go to my first stitch and do a single. This stitch is going to be an increase. So two bands, one at a time. This is one, go back into the same stitch. And two. We're going to do that all the way around. And I'm sorry guys for the background noises. We live near the road, so one. I really do apologize about um, the first few um, clips, especially when the time was like, it was dark and I had to use the flash, like the shadows and th stuff, I hate that one, but I hope you guys understand my situation, yeah, you're gonna end up with an increase, so this is a single and increase onto the band with a C-clip on. And for some reasons, right now I'm sweating a lot. Ooh. But you should have 18. 
And after this, we are going to do a single row around. So one stitch in all of the stitches, no increases or whatever. We're go just going to do single crochet all the way around. I'm gonna count with you guys. One, only one row though. There's two, there's three, there's four, five, six, seven, Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. And 18, the one with a secret one. And after this, we are actually going to start with the legs. So, look at that. That's only the length of the body, and then we are going to do the legs. So, how to do the legs? I'm just gonna um, grab my black pants as well because we are also going to do black at the tip or white, whatever you like the tip to be. But, you have 18 here so we are going to do four here and we are going to um, skip one stitch four and add another four and we are gonna um, skip another stitch and then four because we have 18 stitches so four plus one plus four is equal to nine then four plus one plus four equals to nine equals to 18 so that's how I did the length. So what we are going to do is we see there's four stitches here. So this is one, two, three, four. We want to stitch through that. But in the first stitch, we are going to do a slip stitch instead of doing just a regular stitch. So go to your first stitch, grab a band, pull it through. Oops, I'm sorry guys. Pull it through everything. I'm just gonna fix my camera. Pull it through everything and slip stitch. Go to your second stitch. And this is number two. Third stitch. Number three. And fourth stitch on number four. Now we can actually remove our C clip here because we like did a slip stitch, so that's kind of like a mark over there. So you want to take off your C-clip and just put it to the band with on your hook. And what we are going to do is, um, so we have four stitch here. So this is one, counting from our hook, this is one, two, three, four. We want to go to our first stitch, so just go to your first stitch from the inside, not from the outside. So from the inside. That's your first stitch. And what we are going to do is we are going to do two rows of single of brown. So I have my two rows here. And then the last row is either going to be white or black. However you like it to be. But yeah, again, go through your first stitch once you have four stitches on your... Um, when you have four stitches already, go to the first stitch. Um, this is our first row, so we're just going to do a single row around, and this could be hard because it's tight. Just make sure you are picking four stitches, so that's one, two, three, and then four. 
with the band with the C-clip on. And remove that C-clip and put it to the band that's on your hook. And now we are going to do... Now we are going to do another row of brown. So just go to your first stitch. And again, make sure that you are picking the right stitches. I know this is hard, this is tight, but that's just how it's made. So and right now I'm having a hard time do picking up the stitches as well because they're so tight. But just pick it up, you know? And this is our last row of brown, because we're only going to do two rows of brown. That's one. And you can always pause the video if you're having a hard time. And this is two. This is three. And this one here is number four. So that's the end of our brown stitch, I mean brown color. So it's starting to form like a leg. Not yet because it's only one. Now we are going to do a row of black. So go grab your black and go to your first stitch. First stitch. Black. Pull through everything since we are doing a color change. Go to your second stitch. Hmm. Two. three and four and after this we are just going to do a decrease the no, only one decrease because we have a tight spot so re you can remove your stitch marker now and then what I do is just do a decrease whatever my hook goes to just making sure that it closes so I'm gonna do a decrease so I'm just gonna pick up some stitches here and do a decrease front loop and back loop of the other black band and stitch I mean slip knot then hide the tail inside the leg and now we are going to do the other leg so we can know that we are doing the right thing like you know we have we stitch here we started from here because we did a slip stitch so we are going to skip one stitch so this is my one stitch we are going to um, skip that we are going to the next stitch so here again um, this is because it's going to be a side and like the side legs and it has a gap like that if we put one stitch we um, skip one stitch and the front we don't and it looks like this so yeah make sure you skip one stitch so skip one stitch that's for the side legs only and do four single crochets one two three and four now you can put your stitch marker here so I got my C-clip on and make sure you have four stitches already so counting from our hook this is one two three and four again we are going to go inside the body so inside and not out and we are going to, do, to go to the first stitch our first stitch and we are going to do two rows of brown and one row of black So first row of brown and we're just going to stitch them together like that and move or go our way around. This is two, three, and four. Move your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. And we are going to do another row of brown again. So, just make sure that you are going through the right stitches, guys. This one. Two. 
to three and four. Remove your stage marker, put it to the band that's on your hook, and now we are going to do one row of black around. So go to your first stitch and do a slip stitch. And if I'm going too fast for you guys, you can always pause the video, rewind however you like. Two. Three. And four. And now you can remove your stitch marker. And we're just going to do a decrease. So front row of the first one and back row of the other stitch together and slip knot, tight close and hide the tail inside the leg. I hope I'm doing this right. I hope, I mean, I'm explaining this right. So we have now two side legs and now so now we don't want to skip anything because again front legs and back legs we don't skip any only the side legs so since this is um, like a back leg we're just going to continue so this is where we left off so this is our last I mean our fourth stitch from our second leg we're just going to the next stitch like that and do four. So this one, two, three, and four. And then after that, you want to put your stitch marker to the band that's on your hook and I hope you guys are getting the hang of it and now you should have four stitches so for counting from your hook this is one two three four we want to put our hook through this first stitch so like that and do two rows of brown one row of black so first row of brown this is one Two, three, four, another row of brown, I'm sweating a lot. <laughs> Floor, it's so hot here. Oh my goodness. And then put your stitch marker onto the band that's on your hook. And then one row of black. So this is one. I'm just going to move this actually. I'm having a hard time picking it up again. Two, three, four. Then after this, we can remove our stitch marker and just decrease from wherever we like. Just to like make sure it's closed. Like that. And we can hide the tail inside of the leg. So 
now we have three legs and on to our last leg since it is a side we are going to skip one so just the same here like they are mirroring we have to skip one go to the next stitch so this is the stitch where we um, left off doing our four stitches in the third leg we skip this one and we move on to the next stitch make four stitches so one two three broken band and then four now put a c-clip on to this band i hope you got it right you guys and counting from your hook this is one two three four we want to go to that fourth stitch we want to put our hook in that stitch and do two rows of brown and one row of black One, two, three, and four. Remove your stitch marker and put it to the band that's on your hook. Now do another round of brown. brown. Go to your four stitches, guys. One, two, three, and four. Then remove your stitch marker, put it to the bean that's on your hook, and now we are going to do our row black. So just go through your stitches, so that's one, two, three, and four, and remove your stitch marker, and just decrease so that it's close. And slip knot, and put it to the band that's I mean to your leg part like that and we have our legs here and then we just go down and pick some um, stitch pick one stitch so right here and do one two three four then we want to pinch this and so we have three stitches in the middle that's what we did previously you want to go to that second one inside and pull this through like that and just slip knot this one to the other end And if you're hearing background noises, guys, I really do apologize and hide. So that's how we do the legs, the body. So now we are going to attach our head to the body. So grab your head and your body and just pick a spot. Like, for example, that one. Oops, that looks cute there. So you want to grab it, I mean, grab a hold of it like that. And then wherever um, it leads you to, that's where you're gonna stitch. So for example, this one. And go to stitch in the body. Like that and stitch 
And this is how I attach the head to the body. If you have any other attaching style, you can do that as well. Just make sure that you get your head attached to the body. And then next stitch. Stitch in the body. And stitch. And then pick a spot in your head and in your body. And oops, stitch head and your body. And stitch, and then your head, and your body, and then stitch, and then we're just going to do a slip knot at the end. So go to your first stitch and do a slip knot. So look at that. We have attached our head to the body. I hope you attached yours as well. So I'm just going to hide this slip knot real quick. I'm gonna be back. So take your time guys fixing the head however you like it to be. And I hope you attach your head to the body as well. Like, I wish that you are doing well with your reindeer. I hope there are no confusions. But now, we're just gonna attach our tail and we are done. So grab your tail here and pick a spot in the um, back part. And I think I'm gonna attach it over here. So I picked two stitches. And we're just going to slip knot it. So grab one side of the band, the other, and then slip knot. Then we're just gonna hide that inside the body. And we are done, you guys. That's how you make the reindeer. I hope you um, like this design. I hope you make one. And I hope I was clear throughout the tutorial. Um, if you make one, don't forget to tag me on Instagram. And tag Gingersell as well. So tag us both. And then I'm gonna see you guys in my next video. Bye!